Last one, last one. I know I'm in the same spot. I mean, this is why it's good to make videos, yeah. You can do stuff, be choked. Anyway, last one, like, first of all, I just want you guys to see the video, so. I don't agree with boys not carrying knives. I believe that we live in a generation where you must learn to protect yourself and adapt with the times. Um, we've had recent events where King Von got taken out because he went to go fight um, his ops with guns, with his fists, and it just didn't work out. At the end of the day, carrying knives is a lifestyle choice. And when you're a part of the lifestyle, really about their life you know what that what this shit entails if you live by the sword you're gonna die by the sword and i don't want to get with a man who doesn't know how to defend me because he can't defend himself and he keeps getting stabbed up every weekend that's long yeah so you see that yeah that woman this is why yeah brothers i beg i beg you to practice some um di dignity yeah practice some sexual morality and practice um what's the word um the word the phrase um it's, it's not it's not this phrase but this will help try and me remember specific reading uh um basically man choose pick and choose who you're gonna have a baby with i can't me me and phrases pick and choose who you're gonna have babies with because these are the women you that are having children with and wondering why our sons are running around Hyde Park with my shit. The women have the children more than the dads. It's a fact of the matter. The women have more of influence on children than the father. It's a fact of nature. The, the children follow women quicker than they follow their father. It's a fact of nature. These things are facts. They're part of nature. It is what it is. Is, okay there's no argument about it you know argue with yourself you try to argue these facts those three things is where it is children follow their moms women have more of an influence and the children are more around their moms okay that being said if you're aware of that fact the women have a huge responsibility when it comes to watching overseeing the children and these women here obviously ain't doing that. We've already heard about the woman the other day who drove her son and the two boys them to the bread to get him stuff up. You heard about that. And now we have this bangarang foolish woman here. We already know about the woman who got strippers for her eight-year-old son for his birthday in America. we like, come. There's mums out here, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. we should just call egg donors you see i say where we call it, man them sperm donors when we say they're dead beat yeah man egg donors them man babysitter them man yeah they push the baby but that's what they did they were guard for the life this woman is chatting foolishness the only thing that makes sense is boys need to be able to protect themselves yes taking the knife around is not protection it's an invitation. There are energies in this world. And carrying a knife gives off a certain energy. It's an invite. That's why people who carry these things are more likely to get into these situations from those who don't. I would walk around the whole of London. My brother would walk around the whole of London. He's 21, I'm 26, right? Yeah, he's 27. We would walk around the whole of London and with no knives and nothing. And we won't get touched once. Tell a little boy to do that with a knife on him and see if he don't get catch. We give off energies, people, and it's... I'm going into a whole different... Why would you want your child... Why would you advise your boy to go around with a knife? Why would that be the thing that... So, when he does buck up in the situation, yeah, and he takes someone's life, like, you want that to be on your boy's conscious. You want that to be constantly on his head. You want him to have dreams of that person's face, yeah? Like, you want him... You want him to be living by the sword before before he's even grown enough to freaking pay, pay rent or know what mortgage is. Like... And then she's like, oh, I don't want to never be with no man who don't... Are you... Bros, brothers. Unless you want to be in problem, I won't be on child support. I have only for problem. 
and your and your son turn out don't like it turn out like one sissy or some over masculine man who thinks that going out and shotting and stabbing up man them and being on road is bad go with them kind of girls in it dick dignity don't practice it don't practice no sexual morality just go out there spread your seed give it to any woman there and have these little tegareg tearaway children that you lot are having these little terawa youths them them little rudy youths them we're gonna have because you ain't paying attention to that you didn't pay attention to who you fucked you didn't pay attention to how she was raising them now this woman got your son driving around in car two other little boys shooting up and stabbing up boys then you got that idiot man the other day who got himself was it him you get stabbed yeah him him had a little boy one got him father talk about oh daddy someone's troubling me on bus so what big big man decided to follow the sun then palm bus me i would have said to the hey so where you do the man where the man i cost you for furthermore i'm not going there to go fight nobody for what so me and you can both get beat up that don't make no sense i will teach the boy wisdom not go there, go and fight, man, to get stuff. Now the man gone. Now you can't save your son in no other situation. That makes sense. That makes sense. You lot don't make sense. And this woman on this video don't make sense. She's literally encouraging gang culture. And she's saying she would... She With everything she's saying, if she had three sons, bro, all of them would be the same. All of them would be road men. If she had three sons, all of them would be road men. Because she has no regard. She doesn't even understand life in its simplicity. She doesn't understand the simple concepts. She doesn't understand the simple context of like carrying a knife around. And what knife would he be carrying? Because these little boys are carrying around Rambos. Which you going to carry the little pocket knife. Like my girl. These women, yeah. Are a huge cause of a lot of thought. And it wouldn't seem so because men overall in, in the whole world, like overall, are in control. But women hold so much power and they don't realise it and they pander just like black people do with white people in this in this oppressive society, yeah. They pander to the BS and they fall into the BS, yeah, and then they become their own destruction, perpetuating the same cycles. Black people do it women do it the two most oppressed groups on earth other than children and animals they're even more oppressed than us because they don't have a voice but women and black people cause problems for themselves animals and children don't cause problems for themselves their problem is a little bit different women in them society women in them patriarchal societies i'll give you an example Maasai tribe kenya yeah there's even places where they've made the whole female tribe because of the brutality and the oppression that was going on in the tribes where they were mixed with men right so that's how bad it was okay that's how bad it was it's so bad that the women say that um when they're in these situations when they're in these places the men when are able to even kill them because they're seen as just just just, just property of the man right that being said, yeah, these women will go through female genital mutilation. They'll go through having to share their husband with other wives. They'll go through domestic violence. And guess what a lot of these said same women will do? Push for the girls to have genital mutilation. Push for their sons to take more than one wife. And push for their sons to, to abuse their wife when they think they're getting out of control. Why? Because women live their lives through their sons in a lot of places in this world because they don't have any love for themselves they live life through their the man who they think they can control and manipulate everything their son does is like a representation and extension of themselves and they feel good within themselves for being in that place of powerful ones instead of empowering themselves they they give away their power to a man who is their son who will then carry on perpetuating this idea which they have cultivated because you have the son you could have changed them if all the women decided in secret they're going to teach their son different to what they taught that the, what the, the, the fathers were taught the whole culture would change but instead we perpetuate our own hurt we perpetuate our own destruction and it's 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 is a psychological thing because if you don't get to the place of understanding this of understanding that after a while as a, as a slave you perpetuate your own enslavement 
you carry it on. If you don't understand that, and if it doesn't never come to your head, which a lot of the time it won't, because those sorts of environments are crafted and, and, and molded in a way that you will be molded in that way to never ever escape the confinements of that way of thinking. So this woman here, I hope that made sense, y'all. This woman here would only perpetuate gang foot culture, gang violence, gang foolishness. She wants her man to be that way, probably her brothers be that way, and her sons to be that way, her nephews. She, she'll be one of them girls who go around putting a little boy in, in um, Gucci trainers and this and this and this so he can look bad and probably putting his little middle finger up at all of these things. Those, these, that's the kind of woman she is. These are the kind of people you lot are making mothers. Mothers. She's going to have weight no matter what you do, no matter what you try to do, no matter how much you try to have your son. She's going to have so much more weight when it comes to how, especially if you're not together, how much influence she has on him and a daughter because all she's going to do is make her son into a, another fuck and make her daughter into a small version of who herself and this is who you lot want to lay down with because they're easy they validate your your egos because that's a lot of the time where it is they're validating your egos they they dress in a certain way that when you can when you take them out man them know oh yeah you that you yeah hmm ringing any bells yet i think i've broken this down quite well um i really like to make videos past 15 minutes not even past 10 to be honest but past 15 so i'm gonna stop it here anyway y'all peace